In today's video, what is the optimum caloric intake to get leaner? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's question, we're gonna talk about the optimum caloric intake when the goal is to get leaner. And the question came from my Instagram direct message. And uh, there's a reason why I chose this question today. And the, the reason I chose this question is the word optimum. What is optimum? Well, what does optimum mean? I think optimum in this sense is he wants to know the exact right amount of calories that he needs to be using to lose weight. And first things first, I wanna dispel the myth that there is an optimum amount, a perfect number. There isn't. I think one thing we can lose track of, and I don't know if that's the case here with this with this individual, but whenever I hear this, um, this term, optimal or perfect or exact, when it comes to the human body, I'm kind of thrown off because one thing we have to understand is that our bodies are so dynamic, okay? And when it comes to, let's say, tracking calories, that is a very inexact science, right? Just because a piece of food has a nutrition label, that doesn't actually mean that's matching what's in that nutrition label, okay? The government allows up to a 20% variance on caloric intake on what's on a label versus what you're actually getting. 20%, think about that, that is a huge number. Also, when you get the nutrition facts for an apple or for anything, they're not all created equal, okay? These are all, you know, very dynamic chemical compounds that are made up, that our bodies are breaking down and using, and we're trying in our best way to manage that. And if you get too hung up in being perfect, you miss the point of it all. The point of it all is to enjoy the process, okay? So when someone asks me what's the optimal amount of calories to take in to lose weight, and they tell me they're 155 pounds, well, I can give you some ideas. I can say, hey, you should be having, let's say a gram per pound of body fat. Now, lately, whenever I say a gram per pound, people say, well, what about if you're overweight? Or what about when should you use a lean body mass? Well, you can certainly use lean body mass. The, the more overweight you are, the closer I would stick to that number. But there's also not really a negative effect of having a little bit of extra protein. In fact, I tend to like leave that margin of error on the higher side rather than the lower side, um, especially if you're interested in lean body mass. There are some benefits to eating a little bit more protein. Protein is uh, going to create the best satiety, meaning you get the best response from protein for feeling full. That's a good thing, especially when we're trying to get leaner as hunger is usually gonna be an issue. Then we wanna talk about fat intake, okay? So based on what you're telling me at 155 pounds, Whatever your current caloric intake is, your fats should be 20 to 25%, somewhere in that range. And then we're gonna fill in the gap with carbohydrates. However, there can be a huge variation in someone being 155 pounds who's low body fat and someone being 155 pounds who's high body fat. You know, for example, that person could be four foot 10 or six foot 10, right? Probably not six foot 10 at that weight, but you get my point. There's a lot of variation. We also have to take into account daily activity, okay? Maybe we even have to take into account what a person prefers. Some people might prefer to keep calories higher and just be more active and do more cardio or do more exercise. Some people might prefer to do no exercise and they'll eat nothing if they have to. That means we would actually restrict their calories more. So the point of this video is that I can't give you this information. Why? You haven't really given me all the information I need and I just wanted to let you know that there is no such thing as optimal calories for your body weight, okay? What there is, is a approach to dieting that is best for you, okay? A consistent long-term approach to dieting that works best for you. Now, I've covered this in many of my videos, but the, base, the, the baseline that I would kind of figure out for yourself is to plug in what you're eating into an app or a website for about a week and get that number, get that average. If your weight is stable over a week, your calories are gonna go up and down, but you're probably gonna be around maintenance for that time. That'll give you a baseline of where your caloric needs are 
for maintaining. Now, I'm gonna start with a reduction. Now, if you wanna reduce calories by two or 300, or you wanna increase some activity through exercise or cardio, or taking walks, or just being more active, that's how you create a caloric deficit. But you have to understand the baseline before you can adjust it. But even then, understand that there's a huge variation. We're tracking our calories, yes. We're doing our best, yes. But it's not an exact science. Even if you think you're being perfect with your macronutrients and you're getting it to the gram, guess what? You're wrong. You cannot be right. It is too dynamic. All right, guys? Well, that's gonna be it for me today. Just a short one for my man here. I just wanted to get this point across and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.